Hiring and calling references. Why do we still do that? And here's why I ask. Over the last 20 plus years, my teams and I have done a bit of hiring, right? Um, and throughout all those years, you kind of follow the same process. You post a job, people apply, you go through the resumes. Initially, you did not have software to sort it for you. you sometimes you now do, it, which can still make mistakes based on the keywords and things you feed into it and based on what they're putting in, how they're calling the same thing, but calling it differently. And now they get placed into a no pile when they should have been in the yes pile, or at least in a maybe pile, right? So that itself could be improved. Then, or if it's a manual process, you look through it, you might uh, not see the things you should be looking for, you might miss them, you might not like the font or formatting of the resume. People are biased, right? And it's subconscious bias. They're not even aware of it. But the resume might be too long, too short, you didn't like their name, whatever it may be. But in any event, let's just say they get through all of that. You have the phone call, video call, you bring them to your organization, your business, your campus. Depending on the seniority of the position, it could be an hour, it could be multiple meetings, could be multiple days, could be multiple trips. In any event, they go through all of that, you go through all of that with them. So the process itself has a lot of opportunities for improvements, but we're gonna to get to the last step. You select an individual you would like to make an offer to, you speak to them, and you say, before we actually finalize everything, I would like to call your references. Now, I spoke with a friend recently about this because he is going through this process. He is actually calling references for a number of the positions that he has open in the city. And um, after several phone calls, we, we met up and we both kind of talked and, and said, why do we still do that? Because if you really think about it, you're calling this candidate's PR people, right? They're marketing folks. They're friends, they're colleagues, they're champions, they're cheerleaders. You're gonna call someone, two people, mostly it's two, sometimes three, sometimes one, but it's mostly two. You're gonna call two people they gave you and they already spoke with those folks and said, look, someone from this company is gonna call you. Here's what they're looking for. Here's what I said so far. Here's what you should say, right, to make me look amazing. What's the point of the exercise if you really think about it? In over 20 years of being in, in this profession, I've experienced a bad reference call once, once over a decade ago. And that was when an individual had a stale list of references that he kept pushing forward for every job that he applied for. It's a list, later we found this out, it was the list that he created four or five years prior, since that list was created, he had a falling out with one of the folks on the list. And we ended up calling that name and this individual gave this candidate a less than glowing review, right? So that was telling and it clearly did not work out for that person. But that's one in over 20 years and that's just because of laziness and not paying attention to details. So why do we do this? Is there a better way? Could we research them ourselves? Obviously, within scopes of local, state, and federal laws. Could we perhaps, hey, if it's a C-suite executive and we're hiring for a chief financial officer, can we go to the list of all of their peers, everybody in the C-suite, and pick two people at random and call them? Say, hey, your current CFO, what are your thoughts with him or her, Miss or Mr. Chief Marketing Officer, or Chief Information Officer, and so forth. Can we pick two different people across the organization, or from partners that they work with? Is there a better way? But ultimately, whatever you get, whoever you call, most people feel uncomfortable in telling the truth and saying it like it is. Even if they had a less than ideal experience, most will say, yeah, they're okay, you know, they're not bad. We work together on X and Y and Z. I've had no issues with him or her. Hiring this entire process <clears throat> takes too long, too many uh, uh, ambiguities, and you're still not gonna know until this individual comes in, joins your ranks, and spends a few months with you. Then you know. 
six months in, a year in, you know whether you made the right choice or not. And if it's the wrong choice, you make a decision and you ask them to, you know, move on. And then you search again. We spend way too much time on bringing people in, but not enough time on cleaning the process up and building the team that you need to be successful in the year we live in. And most importantly, the years that are yet to come. Just my thoughts, it's one of the actually longer videos that I've made in a while, but hiring and calling references, why do we still do it the way we do? Have a wonderful day, I wish you all the best. If this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below the video on the topic I just covered. Have a wonderful day.